It was a beautiful challenge every single night to go through that journey. Well, when a woman says she went to Princeton... Because she did. She did. She says it. She writes it in her resume because she did. She went to school. She's lived a lot of life before, during, and after school. And she could do this. I could do this. Just to be able to embody these women that represent how capitalism is, you know, shifting their experience, you know, is they are survivors of capitalism. Jess is a survivor of capitalism, having gone to an Ivy League school. You know, she's a first generation American. That's really important. You know, though she's carrying the migration of her mother. I'm a first generation American as well. I do whatever, John, within reason. I think it's really important to see disabled actors on stage. Not everyone can cut it. I don't hire from agencies, so some applicants think they can do it, and then it turns out they can't. How come you don't hire from agencies? I don't have to. Why not? I have money. Like, probably one of the most profound artistic relationships I've ever had because of how we were communicating with each other every single night and that we would have to do this thing that required such bravery on his behalf. And this year, for the first time, the Tonys are uptown. Uptown. This <laughs> yeah. historic Palace Theater, which, I mean, it's fantastic for so many reasons. What does it mean for you, having been born in Harlem? Oh, so it feels like they're, I feel like the fact that the Tonys will be uptown this year feels like there's a bunch of people who will feel seen. There's a bunch of people who will be like, it's that's happening uptown, you know? Like, I just feel like it's important. It's important for events to be happening uptown. Yeah.